The question today is, should your partner be given password to your phone? Hey friends, I'm back again. Just in case today is your first time here, I'm Adeola Aino and for the sake of this channel, feel free to call me Dio. And to my return subscribers, welcome back. Let me ask you this real quick. Should your partner have a password to your phone? Before I dive into this conversation, let me narrate this to you real quick. You are looking for your phone in the house and um, you believe to dial the phone is the best way to get the phone back. You know, definitely the phone is in the house and um, we all know that that's the best way to get a missing phone in the house, to dial with another phone. So you took your partner's phone to dial the phone and um, you realize that the phone is locked and you requested for your password from your partner and he took the phone back from you and dialed the number, I mean the passcode and gave it back to you. What would be your reaction? Let's watch this short video clip and um, I'm going to be watching from my phone so in case I'm looking down. Listen, if you are married and you're not exchanging passwords, uh, that's a problem. If you're married and your spouse can't go through your text messages or your emails or go through your phone, go through your Facebook, go through your inbox or your DMs, then that's a problem. Now, some of y'all gonna say, well, why should they wanna do that if they trust? No, we're not saying that, you know, that, that they don't trust you. We're saying that if they desire to go into it, then they should have access to it. If you're hiding it, sleeping with your phone, every time your phone rings, you jumping, phone under your bed, putting it on. So men can be so defensive of their telephone like what what is inside this phone if the phone rings they jump up like don't pick it I'm going to pick it myself like okay let's just keep watching airplane mode and you feel like you don't have to give your spouse an explanation that is a problem that is a problem that is a problem and what is it that you're hiding the Bible says it pretty what is it that you hiding? That the two shall become one. So now you all are one. Stop operating like you're separate. Stop operating like you are two different individuals who've not become one. When you got married, you became one. Stop functioning like you're a single person. Stop functioning like you're cheating. If you're not cheating, then it should be unlimited access to what you have. It's no problem when everything is everything. But when you got something to hide, you don't want to show anybody anything. I, I, ain't nobody, you know, I don't, I don't have to give nobody. That, that's bondage. That, that's, you know, you, they, they should trust that individual. Yeah, you should be doing things to make, to ensure that your spouse trusts you. But if your spouse wanted your password or access to it, then it should be no problem. Because you're committed to that individual. You're one with that individual. And if you have nothing to hide, then allow them access to it. If your spouse is the one that's not allowing you access to it, uh, it may be a problem. So um, have a conversation, talk to them, what is there to hide? And if it continues to persist, okay. maybe you all need to right here. So this video emphasized on married couples. Let me say this real quick. When we talk about couples, it's not necessarily that you're legally married. You might be living together, you might be partners in the house, like not just ordinary partners, intimate partners. And um, in as much as you're not dating, at least you're engaged, then you're couples, you, you, you're, you're couples, you're partners. And for that reason, and share your bodies, then what will stop you from sharing your password? Well, don't get it all wrong here. Sharing your partners or having your partner's password doesn't stop him or her from cheating. This is not all about cheating right now. And um, before you come for me, I know some will say, yeah, it's better not to check your partner's phone just to have a peace of mind. And I believe in privacy. I believe so much in privacy, in marriage, privacy, in courtship, privacy, in relationship, privacy, in whatsoever you want to, you want to call it. But secrecy and privacy are two different things. What are, that, are those things in that phone that you cherish so much? I mean, 
you pamper so much you protect so much that you cannot share with your partner i mean your partner that you love that you claim you love with your whole heart the partner you share your body your fluid with and you cannot share a password with her now the big question is will you be so mad or will your partner be mad when they figure out whatsoever is in that telephone or will that information or whatsoever is in that telephone get your partner angry or mad when they see it will you feel insecure when somebody else or your partner sees what is in that telephone will that information or whatsoever is in that telephone get you and your partner into a big argument or cause conflict between both of you then that is secrecy you can't tell me otherwise that is secrecy and that is not privacy it is understandable there are some conversation between you and your family there are some conversation between you and your friends that is meant to be between friends and not extended to your partner and at this point we are not talking about having password to check your partner's phone but that willingness to give that willingness to be able to submit to be submissive that oh my darling this is my password and um, i can as well have yours because i believe it's not even something you need to request because you requesting or demanding for it then that brings a kind of um, toxicity in the relationship but when it's being given willingly because i believe it should it should be normalized it should be normalized because what is it you're hiding i i believe when you when you're guiding your phone with your life then is a big red flag you're hiding something then where is the transparency where is the transparency and a, a solid elder relationship should be based on transparency and that is where the the trust kick in and let me show you another video clip real quick oh wait Brother, if you don't already have your missus' password, you're already lacking. What? As soon as I'm with a girl, she gives me the password straight away. I don't even have to ask. I don't even have to ask. He said, I don't even have to ask. She gives me right away. I don't even have to ask. Now, listen. But is that the same with you as well? Would you give them your password as well? Of course not. Why should she have my password? Why are you having her password? I don't know, like, I don't know if we can get into this on camera, but look, let's be honest, if we all know the dynamics of a male and female relationship, I'm getting the password and she's not having mine. I think Did he just say that? <laughs> Did he just say that? <laughs> oh my goodness. We can leave this question here. Definitely, definitely. We should leave this question here. Now tell me, who, who dates this kind of a guy? Like, he believes when he has a girlfriend, the password should be given automatically. I mean, he doesn't need to ask for it. But when it is turned to return the same energy, he say no. Then where is the transparency? Why are we going to call each other couples or partner what are we partnering what what are we <laughs> you know what guys um it's always okay if two partners decided that they don't want each other's password which is okay there are some couples without um knowing each other's password and they are doing so fine they are doing so good like for instance if my partner decide not to share his passcode with me it's all right it's okay i'm gonna be good because you're going to be doing your shit while i'm going to be doing my shit it's fine but don't ask for mine it's so simple if i can't have yours you can't have mine so that's how it has to be because i i just I can't wrap my head around what this guy just said. 
the lady has to give him his password automatically but he is not gonna give well some ladies will be fine with that as well um don't get me wrong there's nothing absolutely nothing wrong if both partners agreed not to share the passcode which is good there are lots and lots of partners out there that are not sharing passcode so it's all good but what i'm saying is um some of us have been so used to toxicity and um some of us have been so used to this um you know arrogant kind of partners and uh, we believe it's so norm not to have some necessity i mean to have some things that are normal necessary in a relationship because i believe your passcode is part of you your guard yet is part of you 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 might be in a bathroom and i want to use your phone real quick I don't have to come and knock the, the bedroom door for permission i just have to just you know pick up my my partner's phone and go ahead and do whatsoever i want to do on it some partners you can't just even talk about that conversation that's gonna be a kind of war in the house so it's always better to let a sleeping dog lie because um, it's clear clear it's so clear and glaring that once you cannot submit your password to your partner then there's definitely something you're hiding and it's not healthy and um, if that situation is going on then i don't think it's okay for that same person to stand up and talk about transparency if you cannot do it to your partner then don't demand for it as well so it has to be vice versa so you protect and guide your phone i protect and guide my phone i'm going to show you another clip another short clip all of us have probably experienced an unfaithful event with a partner in the past with like a cellular device has probably been ended with like cheating of some sort <laughs> my phone okay. screen's always going to be up you have the password to my phone. I'm gonna say, hey babe, like, can you check that message for me? If you wanna hop on my Instagram and scroll through my Instagram just for fun, hop on there. You know, like you have the password to my phone. This is not even all about Instagram, Facebook, or whatsoever. No, I mean, this is not supposed to be a big deal or an issue. I don't think. And I'm gonna build that trust with you. So like, get on my phone whenever you want. You can do whatever you want on my phone. I don't really care. I get it, I get it. Someone's gonna say that's toxic that you're letting your person just do that all that they want, but it's not toxic. It's just having respect and trust for the person. Toxic my foot. Toxic my foot. Why? What is toxic is when your partner had or you raise a conversation concerning passcode and he loses. This shit is so funny and let's that you're with i give you my password and my phone without hesitation because you're the only person in my world and there's nothing that i want to hide from you everything that happens in my life whether it's on my phone whether whether it's physically in my life i want you to know i want you to have access to that it's because when i say i love you i genuinely mean it and you see over time as i build up that trust that they know they can get on my phone whenever they want um, they have the passcode everything the day when the day comes and they have that insecurity, I guarantee you that the person you're with won't even second guess your loyalty that you have with them. Some don't understand that giving your code willingly to your partner is part of building trust in your partner. Like you're building that trust, imputing that trust in him or her. This builds up to the to the to the level that no one can tell them otherwise outside because they believe my husband my partner my fiance my fiance has nothing to hide i know i i know having password to your partner's phone doesn't stop them from cheating i know i know but what we're talking about right here is 
that willingness is what we are talking about right now that willingness to be able to give your code your passport to your partner and it goes a long long way i i know i'm all over the place but i i just want to talk about this once and for all because this topic has been living rent free in my head for a for a long long time and i just feel like talking about it let's not be misguided in my own opinion we should normalize this in as much as i love to just go on and on and on on this conversation i also would like to uh keep this uh video as short as possible so in conclusion i would say that sharing password with your partner does not indicate that they are insecure or they don't trust you or they, they they lack that affection to be able to build that trust in you but this is just a a, a personal preference which i believe that it's not supposed to be something hard for you to do so like i said it's fine it's all good if you don't want to share your passcode with your partner it's good and um there's nothing wrong with it because there are lots and lots of couples that are living like that and uh, they are fine with it as long as both partners are fine with it it's all good it's your own uh, yeah everybody has their own shenanigans so yeah that's it and uh this topic is not based on giving your partner password code in order to check if you're cheating or not no willingness is what we're talking about the ability to be able to trust your partner and to be able to give room for transparency in the relationship and in marriages is what we're talking about right now because it has to be in context so with that being said and cleared let's now come down to how much access should they, should each person in the relationship give to one another i guess that's a story for another day anyways guys so guys let me know your take on this topic i love to learn all i just said in this video is from a personal preference it's um my personal opinion I believe what should be a norm should be a norm and uh, I might be wrong and I might be right kindly let me know your suggestion your take and um, your opinion on this right in the comment section and I will be there to read every I love to learn believe me I love to learn everybody has how it works for them I mean the method that works for them in their relationship and in their marriages this so call of a thing of call marriage or relationship doesn't come as a broken everybody has their own style that works for them it's just that there are some things that are meant to be numb sorry if i had to say that again <laughs> guys please and please and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell in order to be notified anytime I upload a new video. And don't forget to like and share. Till I come your way again, stay safe out there.